Anthony Weiner is in hot water. He is facing jail time. He needs a cold shower. I don't even know. He needs Jesus. Um, but um, he's facing jail time. He's going to be forced to res register as a sex offender for texting a underage girl with all sorts of illicit sex stuff. So is jail time enough for him? Do you think that's the, the right move? Do you think he should be longer? It's projected that he'll be behind bars for 21 to 27 months. What are your thoughts on jail? I, I don't know. I think that sex offenses are a uh, mental illness. I think that we as a society has, have um, perverted sex to a way that like we don't embrace what it is, what those feelings are, whatever, and we make it perversion and then people you know they hide in it and then they do all stuff kinds of stuff. So I think that as a society we need to rethink what what sex is and how it needs to be explained to children and I think that it should just be more out there that's just my own personal opinion and I think that maybe it would you know uh, cut down on some of this misbehavior right because it's just so taboo I totally think that uh, the way pornography is set up now with our social media that this is something that just happens all the time how do you stop it and even if he so it's kind of entrapment in a way, right? How old are you? I'm, I'm imagining them having a text conversation. How old are you? I'm 13. And if he keeps engaging, then he's interacting with a minor. But why is the minor able to interact so freely? It's just like so much that our minors are exposed to. To, to answer your question, yes, I think that jail time is not going to be enough. He's going to have to do some intensive therapy and maybe maybe jail time coupled with with uh therapy may work but i just don't think that jail time does anything for any criminal no uh right yeah, <laughs> any jail, criminal. jail so, is not known to be rehabilitative at all so so what is it like you just want want them off society out of society but do we fix the individual and bigger than the individual do we fix the problem because look at that this, this is a thing now it used to be a situation where people just took playboy magazines or boys underage children you know took their their dad's playboy or and 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 hid and looked and sneaked and looked at pictures but now pornography is just right on their cell phones it's just there's nothing you can hide from the children so what we probably should do is start opening the dialogue as it relates to sex sexual desires what does it feel like what is what is that about what's we need to like really own it because it's human yeah and, and we criminalize it in society and religion so often that people hide it what do you think what do you think what do you think wow That's um, a lot, right yeah so i think i agree with you on the, on the sense that we as american society are really behind and problem uh, outdated in the way we handle sex and you could take how we view sex and juxtapose it to how the europeans view sex. sex and you can see there's really a difference so i agree with you in the sense that there should be um more dialogue and i think even especially now since we are in the age of social media in the digital era where you you can take naked pictures of yourself isn't where everything is just so accessible so i think it's even more important now to have those kind of conversations so you know that your kids can be comfortable sharing it with you or knowing if they don't feel comfortable sharing with you as a parent maybe somebody else that they they can trust and just feel comfortable having that conversation with in terms of anthony weiner i feel as though his his proclivities is, is a sickness because he got caught the first time we learned of him in these kind of incidents we were like oh wow you really got caught with your pants down and it just <laughs> <laughs> and unintended, it just, unintended. Mm -hmm. um and it almost seemed like just a oops mm -hmm. type of thing but it's an addiction but now we right? people have yeah. sexual addictions but now we and it costs him a lot in terms of his political aspirations and with his wife and then he got caught again so now it's this now it's a sickness in addition and then when you bring in to the underage piece of it 
Because I think you can kind of, I think we would probably be more lax about it if it was just, if he just kept doing it and it was with but addiction, adult. But addiction is addiction, right? Yeah. So if you're addicted. If you're addicted to sexual, uh, uh, if you're addicted to sex, right, and you're addicted to having sex with multiple women, right, we could say Tyler, uh, Tiger Woods was addicted to sex, right? All those women that he kind of like cheated with he on his was wife. Just nasty with, too. Right, right, <laughs> right. We could say that, but then it's still addiction. And if it's child or adult on adult, it's just something, anything that's so far to the left goes into error and I just think that we don't talk about it enough and anything that you have to hide then it's the the um, mystique of the thing becomes apparent in you because you get to hide it it's like the forbidden fruit well he wasn't exactly hiding it he was putting it out there on the digital no, he's, thing but he is hiding it because he's not doing it to get caught right he's addicted once you start smoking cigarettes, even if you're smoking cigarettes outside in the backyard underneath the steps or right in front of people, you're still engaging in it because there's something inside of you that tells you you need it. Yeah, well, he definitely needs some help. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I worry because he has a child. And I'm, I'm not sure if the, the child is a, a son or a daughter. But either way, that, you know, that's that's something that I don't know how you even broach the subject and what the conversations in that household are going to be like. Um, and I, God forbid he does anything inappropriate to one of his own children if he's willing to be inappropriate with someone else's. Oh. So mm. <laughs> I hold prayer for that household and for the, the young child because that's the innocent in all of it. Right,